Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Huang Shao Let's Play. This is episode 6. We pick it up from turn 29 in the spring season of 196. So last episode we ended with Cao Cao declaring war on us and starting to invade us uh, with his army right here. Pretty strong army. Uh, we have to recover our main force over there to try to protect Peng Cheng. Uh, we're probably going to lose the temple. Uh, as we're kind of out of range and there's really not nothing we can do about it. Uh, meanwhile, Han Fu and Yuan Shao and Gong Sun are at war with us. And Han Fu actually has an army pretty deep in our territory. We're probably going to sandwich them with our two army here to wipe them out. Both of these commanders are small cities. And since Yuan Shao doesn't have any siege weapons, he can't uh, start attacking it right away. He needs at least one turn of sieging. This will buy us some time to finish off Han Fu's army so we can go back and protect our cities afterward. And we're going to double team them just because our armies are actually not that strong. They're over 70% uh, peasantry archeries, uh, archers, so quite weak. So we need to teamwork. Uh, meanwhile, we did finish a reform at the end of the episode. We finished the Harmonious Architect, which granted us the Book of the Earth which we'll utilize right away. And now we can shift our research to uh, martial arts practice here to unlock the trebuchet, which will greatly uh, aid our efforts. Uh, we've been missing this weapon. Uh, after we get this, uh, our army composition will turn to something more similar to what we have in the base game. And other than that, since we did get the Book of Earth, we're going to actually recruit someone out into the field to carry the book instead of Dong Lai, which is our big breadbasket commandery. And I think he's fine. He's mad at us. And he also would give us some public water here. So we could give him the book of the earth. And that's probably it. And we can summon him out here in Dong Lai. <laughs> Which will increase our food production because the Book of the Earth grants additional 30% of uh, food production in local commandery as well as plus 4 public water. So he's boosting 6 public water here as well as boosting 30% food production. And as you can see here with the harbor, farmland, and plus 3 agricultural buildings, this is pretty heavily our breadbasket going forward. We can also give it some assignments actually. Because we have to build this up quite a bit. I guess we don't have to wait on this. Not much discount to be saved. And we have another open assignment slot. Probably want to go with... Long Ya. Let's see. She's mad at us, but she doesn't have any useful assignments. This one's probably the best one. Okay, uh, what should we build here? Because we can actually build something with one turn. This eventually will be peasantry and commerce. Yeah, peasantry and commerce. So this building works and it gives satisfaction. We're building this just because it gives very high replenishment and pretty cheap uh, income. Eventually we'll get rid of it. Once we expand it out and we don't need the replenishment back here. We could go for something like the garden. We do have a mission for it as well. And it will solve our satisfaction issue right, right away. Eventually we might get rid of it. Because I don't think it belongs here that well. Let's go with the garden. Let's try it out. If it doesn't work out, we can always destroy it. Uh, let's work out our armies. So this one, we're still trying to expand. We're trying to get the rest of Donghai in, under our control. More food from the fishing port. Oh, there's actually an army there. Xun Yu. Hmm. Okay. Guo Jia's friend. Let's see. How do we want to approach this? We're still replenishing, so we want to just walk. We'll let him take the temple and we'll take it back the next turn. And she has burnt as a trait, I believe. That's why we summon her. We'll just have her follow closely behind. Uh, where is the boundary between these two commanderies? Because I want... It'd be nice if she's in the county to boost the... Uh, range weapons and counter the enemy range weapons. Because there's still a garrison here that's quite decent. 
I don't know if I want her to reinforce, because then she will get into trouble and probably get killed. Right, so... This should be within the county. I can't see the boundary between these two. Right? Is it visible? Am I just blind? Like, where does the farmland end and when does the temple start? They doesn't look like there's a boundary. Right, you see these little white dots? Where does the white dot between these two exist? It just doesn't exist. I mean, we can go here. Definitely out of reinforcement range. Okay, anything else to be built before we start fighting here? Dong Hai. Dong Hai has the inn, has the forge. This will be an industry and uh, commerce commander for sure. Alright, so we'll just boost industry right now. I guess that works. Cheap building, we, we don't have to worry about assignments. Since they're reinforcing, we can put them on march. Just so that they can get close enough to reinforce. Okay. Now I wonder if I should just right click. I wonder if they'll auto path correctly to hit them. Because there's two routes. And I believe the northern route we actually reach them. But the southern route I don't think we actually hit them. Let's stay on the road for a little bit. There we go. Hmm, do we want to see this on the map? I mean, we do get to fight Zhang He, who's quite historically important general. Courageous general here in the game. Ooh, he's a farmer. Uh, too bad we can't capture... Well, I mean, if we do capture them, let's like say we capture her, we're going to just chop her head off with the armor. Same with Zhang He. They're just going to be bargaining pieces. Archers shooting cavalry. Uh, I'm going to save time. I'm going to save the big showdown for Cao Cao's army. This one will just delegate. Okay. So we did, we did capture Zhang He. Oh man, we're going to kill Zhang He. At age 29. Oof. A little pity, a little don't want to kill him, but we're yellow turbans. This is just the way it is. He's never going to join us, so might as well kill them. Alright, we've got a nice level up, which is great. Fire arrows, who's he? He's a scholar? Okay, that's good. Commerce income. Campaign movement range. That's actually critical here. Because we do have to maneuver around from these cities and reinforce each other. This army is barely touched. That's really good. Just some of the spear units got hurt. Okay. We'll have them rush closer to... Dong. Just in case we have to... Do something with this army still. We can't catch them. That's fine. This army is no longer a threat. Only Zhang He died. Such a pity. Right. Uh, that might be it for us for this. Oh, we have to move our main army. We did. Okay, we did everything. We're just waiting for Cao Cao to attack us and then we can attack him back. Yeah, nothing we can do about these. And I think we're good. Yeah, let's continue. Let's go next turn. We're waiting for the Cao Cao showdown. All right, Tal has uh, started attacking our temple. I like this uh, group of garrisons. I think I can inflict some damage. I'm going to try it. Uh, my goal probably is to kill him. Because if I kill him, this retinue will fall off. Or at least they will summon a new officer to replace him. Uh, these guys have resiliency. There's no point. Uh, if I could snipe some of the crossbowmen, I'll try that as well. Um, I probably won't be showing it. I'll fight it. And then I don't think it's very exciting. We'll show the one where Huang Shao fights Cao Cao. Uh, but we'll see if I can do better than the delegate. 
All right, uh, wasn't such a great fight. <laughs> they are much stronger. This is going to be a tough cookie to crack, even with our main army. Oh, Gongdu is asking us to form a coalition. This is interesting, actually. Do we want to join a coalition with our brethren? He's really far from us. He'll drag us into more wars, but that doesn't really matter at this point. He doesn't have anything we want. He can basically only give us money. I mean, it doesn't hurt to be in a coalition with him. Let's do it. Here, give us a little gold. Well, that's so little. 230. Uh, it's still a better deal than the one he's offering. So we'll do the per turn. Just had to double check. There we go. All right, so Tata has taken over our temple. We lost 20% uh, re research rate. And Yuan Shao has started sieging our capital. What weapon is he holding? Why is he dual axing? Where's his legendary sword? Oh, he doesn't have. A Does he have legendary sword at the beginning of the game? Always had him as a sword user. Well, we have our army to break the siege. We have another army. We have two armies that we can just gang up on him. We don't need to chase him. He's not going to replenish. So what we want to do is just somehow tilt ourselves back over here. Yeah, we want to be close as possible. Mm, I think we're within reinforcement range and we just can have this army crash into it to break the siege. Oh, we can't reach him. Oh, we can just use this army to break the siege. Right. Decisive victory against Yuan Shao. Um, hmm. Would we want to fight this on the field? Uh, not with these second rated army, actually. We're just trying to use our number advantage here. We got his axe. Oh, Wenchou is going to die too. Okay. Good amount of money. New officers. A couple level up as well. Let's look at the new guy first. New girl. Um, Not too helpful. Fortune teller we already have. Trait's not bad though. A lot of satisfaction trait here. Alright. Good for her. Once we get our officers all leveled up, we can actually fight on the battlefield. But as for now, we're going to just cheese out these victories. We'll take another 10% campaign movement range. Oh, he's got an armor upgrade. Nice. At academic. So this one's slightly higher level. Okay, 10 more research rate. Yeah, I, I prefer research rate over campaign movement right here. Because it's just going to help us in the long run. We can't switch it back, so we might as well stay in the city. They can chase. I wonder if this army can reinforce them. Right, so if we go close. And we chase him down. We don't want him to breathe. Alright, let's wipe him out again. There we go. Take him off the battlefield. Got another ancillary item, another thousand gold. So I guess the naval force can't reinforce. Good timing. Let's see what we can get here. Replenishment's nice. Minus construction turns very nice because we're going to have her on the field. So we're going to go here. And then we're going to pull her back because she's quite injured. And then he's going to start drifting back towards Taishan. Okay. We're going to ignore this threat for now. And we're going to take down Cao Cao's army. 
Did he get a new garrison right away? Yeah, he did. Almost half replenished as well. Kind of unhappy about that. Alright, we have this army coming down on us. She should probably join the fight as well, even though she's weak. It's another officer. Let me send her the map back. Alright, we'll fight this at the end. This will be our feature of the episode. Uh, let's take care of all the other stuff. So, we put assignments here in Don't Lie. We put one assignment. We could add another one. Because there's quite a bit to be built here, actually. It's 25. 17. Alright, he's got to join us here. Alright, what else is still cheap? Extra public water, extra income. This can wait till the assignment becomes active. Go with this one, I guess. Extra food. Kind of what we're doing here. Alright, don't... We don't have any assignment here. It's basically our money maker. We need to end building here. So technically we need to upgrade the city. But I think we can do it more efficiently once we get assignments in place. So who has the assignments? Don't lie. Don't lie has assignments. So let's go take a look at... Wait, wait, wait. We already looked at Dong Lai. Long Ya. Okay. Ah, this is where we've been building the garden. Oh, we have both act. We have one active. No one's really healing here, so I guess we don't need to rush the forge. So let's just upgrade the garden. Let's get that mission done. Get that 8,000 gold. Oh, this is so pricey. It's just in terms of turns. Which I guess is fine. Yeah, honestly, it's not that bad. Upgrading this also make it more defensible. We might as well, unless we had the money to be better spent elsewhere. Ah, uh, maybe we should spend it here, actually. We should probably get this forge up and ready. Because I feel like we're still going to be doing fighting here. Yeah, let's build the forge. Let's finish this delegate fight real quick. Xun Yu might die. Anything to make Cao Cao sad. He died. Okay. Cao Cao should be sad. They were good friends. Even though Cao Cao essentially killed Xun Yu at the end of his life, but they were great friends. Ooh, humble, strong, and loyal. Extra 10% research rate. Builder. Great. This is a great character to get. Very happy about that. Okay. Now for the showdown. The juiciest part of our episode. Our showdown with Tal Tal. We might as well build this. No point to save money. And let's move her closer so she'll be reinforced in the fight. And then let's have our main force fight them. We have we have anti-cavalry. We have anti-arrows here. And we have a decent amount of range units. It's just their quality of their cavalry and quality of their... They have a lot of anti-range units. That's the problem. He has so many spear guards, which is very difficult for our archers to deal with. And they have very strong generals. So basically, we have to duel Cao Cao and Xia Hou Dun so that they don't crash into our army. Do we have a better character for you? Yeah, we must have someone better than this. We don't? Zhuge Nan. Yeah, we could switch this, give him a little bit of extra ammo. I'm just trying to improve it any way I can before the big fight. Wedge formation. Yeah, I don't know. It's not a big improvement. Let's just do it. Can't delay this anymore. 
kind of nervous about this fight. Alright, AI I think is a close defeat. I wouldn't blame them. Do we want to siege and make them attack us? That's another alternative. Because if they don't attack, they will lose attrition. But they probably just attack because AI think they'll win. It doesn't change the map. It's going to be an open map anyways. It's going to be this forest map. Hmm. We're probably going to deploy in the back. Actually, it does make a difference because they're attacking us. Then they will move towards us or else we have to move towards this tree line. It's actually going to block their view. They're just going to sit right here and we have to approach them. So we're going to siege and let them attack us. All right, that's the plan. And it should work. All right, let's end turn and have them attack us. All right, right on cue, they attacked us, and uh, we're just going to fight this out. And this will probably be the end of our episode after this fight. Hope we win. This will be quite a tough fight. All righty, we loaded up into the battle. Um, since we're on defense, this means they have to come towards us. And the map changed. This is interesting. It's a different map than the offensive map. The way the forest is placed is quite different. I think we're just going to start out in the back. And we're going to pull all the way back to our reinforcement. Uh, fight in this open area. And let their reinforcement walk the longest distance. Uh, we have the battle timer on our, uh, on our side. Because we are on defense. So this does change quite a bit. Let's see. So we have extra ammo from her. Both of them have a splash morale damage because they're healers. So they can be quite effective in wiping out um, clusters of enemy uh, infantry. Well, not wipe out, but just discourage them from charging at us. And we're just going to set up our men here. Bird's eye view real quick. Pretty much guarding the back line here. Um... These guys can be right up, right up here. Uh, these guys right in the front. Pei and Shao, uh, no, uh, Huang Shao can be right here, boosting all the range units. Left and right flank, anti-cavalry. Little bit this way. And our cavalry can be kind of to the side. Right, their job is just to draw attention away from our main cluster. These two will rush up to attack infantry. Pei Yuan Shao will go duel with Guan Yu's weapon. And that should settle everything. Right, this way, since we're on defense, not only do we have the battle timer on our side, uh, they have to walk towards us because they're forced to attack us. If we were attacking the city, then this will be everything will be opposite, and we have to venture into these tree lines, which will set us pretty back apart. This way, we can fight in formation, and we can fight pretty rested because they have to kind of walk all the way over to fight us. Let's make sure we're boosting everyone. Yeah, we're boosting everyone pretty good. Uh, we probably don't need to be this wide. Right, we just need to protect the range units from Cao Cao's incredible amount of cavalry. Very strong cavalry. They will stall um, any spear guards trying to charge us, right? They'll do the splash damage and morale damage to them. They have to loop behind them because we charge directly at them, we'll get uh, dismounted and killed. He'll be dueling. What is this guy doing? You're out of formation, dude. You're gonna get killed first. Shape up. There we go. Alright, we can have them up a little bit forward. Just because their job is to take the first volley. 
and then counter charge the infantry line that gets close. All right, we're ready. We're just gonna cut till when they appear because there's no point waiting for them. The AI is gonna be quite slow waiting for reinforcement to group together and come over. So we'll see you when they're close by. All right, guys, we're back and they're crossing the tree line right now. We can see that the reinforcement army from the garrison is far behind. So this is just their main army. And I took a look at the dueling. They are willing to duel us, but the AI think we're gonna lose for sure. So we might not duel here. We might just rely on our officers to fight them on the field. But they're coming. And we're going to have to be ready for them. Their cavalry spread out left and right. And if we take a look, they're sending a small detachment to take care of our cavalry here. We have to get both of these guys ready. Charge out to the side. We want them to hide in the forest real quick. Maybe it's better if we just use our general to buff our armies, right? We, we have quite a few ways to buff our armies. All right, we don't want their cavalry to come at us. We want to just stop them, right? We want to shift their movement. All right, cavalry has taken a new target. Now we can come out. All right, we don't want to get engaged on by their cavalry. Run back to our flank. Increase charge resistance right now. All right, we're good. Oh, that line got crushed. All right, shift you guys up. Reduce their armor. All right, we'll go route these cavalry real quick. All right, let's splash damage. Oh God, more cavalry. All right, we'll flank the cavalry. Huang Shao will come over here, fight Cao Cao. All right, splash damage. Where's our cavalry? Go, kill the crossbowmen. Alright, let's kill him. Pull her out. Ooh, she's ready routing. Okay, that's fine. She's not that strong. Alright, we took care of most of the cavalry situation. But they are just pouring in here. Alright, let's kill Xia Houdun first. It will enrage Cao Cao because they're oath thorns. If we can rout them, it's good too. Let's stop let's stop hitting Cao Cao then. We should focus fire, because they're gonna heal after each other. Alright, we're losing on the right side. Gotta pull our guys over. Hurry up. Honestly, they're out of ammo. We need to reverse charge. Hmm, the spear guards is really causing a lot of problems. Alright, we kill Sia Holduin. Let's kill Tal Tal next. He full healed. It's ridiculous. Alright, our reinforcements are back. Let's crush one side first. Alright, we they got more friend. Let's come back, come back. We need everyone here. Alright, just need both of these to engage the center pile. These guys can these guys are fine. Just gotta shift them over. Reduce everyone's armor. All right, pull our cavalry out, get another charge. All right, we'll do some charge damage with our general here. This one's routing. 
All right, Cao Cao's almost dead. Ooh, Pei Yan Shao, Pei Yan Shao, don't die. Oh, he's retreating. That's not good. All right, Cao Cao's dead. He's out of control now. Let's try to control him. These two have heals, so I'm not worried about them. And these reinforcements are not that strong. We just gotta take care of this situation right here. Too many spear guards. Alright, she can go take care of some of these archers. You guys can fight. Buy some time for us. Come on. We just need to buy some time for us. There we go, there we go. We just need to kill Talso and I think we're good. It's a messy fight, but this was never going to be easy. Fire at the spear guards. Are these spear warriors? Oh, spear guards. God, so many spear guards. Yeah, the heal, the recovery is really broken. Here, kill the range units. Cao Song is dead. So all of Cao Cao's men are dead. We just need to kill these spear guards, which are so stubborn. If we capture Sao Ho Zun, we're getting rid of him. Alright, we're gonna chase this group down so that they don't come back. We're already dismounted? Oh, great. She's still on her horse. Come help. It's one another one of those closed fights. There we go. Look at that. Who said Yellow Turban doesn't have good cavalry? I can't believe Pei Yan Shao routed though. She's really good. She has unbreakable on her, plus recovery. Pretty much makes her unkillable in a fight. Alright, we'll cluster, we'll kill this cluster first. And then we'll get a flank on these guys, so that would help. Alright, we got the chain route. We did it. We did it. Alright, I'm gonna spend a little time chasing down some of these units. It will make our next fight taking this place a lot easier, so. See you guys when the in the post battle. We're just gonna finish up by chasing. All right, we pulled out that victory. Um, we killed Cao Song, so his units are out. The garrison still has a few units left, but we chase most of them down. Also, chasing helps our general heal with recovery. So you see, both of these generals are full health because of the time we spent chasing. Both of their resiliency got popped one, so they're actually full health in the next fight. Might make things a little difficult because Pei Yuan is pretty much out of it. Let's take money. Alright, yellow turbans are destroyed again. This time I think by He Yi's hand though. And Liu Bao form a coalition with Cao Cao. What a timing here. Gong Sun Du and Gong Sun Zan. Okay, backstab by Gong Sun Du. Liu Yan signed a peace treaty with Ma Teng. Okay. Okay, new officer. Very happy to take them after the battle. Let's see, let's see. Brewer. Oh, a burnt brewer. This is excellent. Okay, so like Brewer has really good archery stats. Right? You, everyone's skill tree is a little different, as I'm discovering, depending on their background. So scholars are naturally the archer class in the old turbans, and brewers um, have a setup on their tree that gives them extra range, and you get burned as well. He's the perfect officer for us. I can't, I can't complain about this at all. Um, so we got sieged again. This time by nobodies, basically, three ladies, Liu Huimin. Okay, so I guess Yuan Shao and uh, Liu Dai got married. Well, actually, maybe not, because Liu Dai got wiped, so he she could just join them afterward. She's the Liu Dai's daughter. 
We can just break this siege again. All right, it's not hard. Ooh, ugly victory though. But we'll take it. Still a victory. That's why we have the forge for replenishment. Wow, that's a huge loss. Somehow we crushed the army, even though they didn't lose. Guess we ranked up. This is so lazy. The yellow turbans get the same ranked up cutscene as the regular Warlords factions? Shouldn't we get something different? We're not empowered. That's basically the story here. We get extra experience, extra salary, another character. And if we become ascended, we get even more experience. Well, Huang Shao is going to be level 10 by then, for sure. Ooh, Book of the People. This one's not that good. Only population growth? We might as well collect them, right? Let's see, which... Oh, all the way over here. Okay. We get more reform options going ahead. Wow, minus three construction turn. Wow. Trade agreements. Who's going to trade with us? Wow, all these minus three construction turns. Replenishment. This one is quite good. Considering the way we're fighting. Plus 10% ammo for all units. That's nice. Retinue upkeep. Okay, pretty good. Pretty much we have the whole tree open, except for these final three uh, reforms. Okay, we're almost there. We also get new court positions, right? Local, We get administrators, local leaders. Okay. Advisor and brewer. Ooh, brewer. Ooh, he has a lot of items. Cha pi? Chai, chai pi? He's not bad. Might as well just recruit, right? We have the money. We've been fighting a lot. Our economy is through warfare right now. Scholar Brewer. We just talked about how good brewers are. Ah, uh, too bad. If this is brilliant, it would be so good. All right, we'll just grab everyone. The more, the merrier. Okay. Yeah, extra research rate. Why not, right? We have level up here. Our army's pretty much in shambles, though. Range damage plus three from industry. This is quite useful. Satisfaction, corruption. Recovery is nice. Mm, debating between these two. Maybe this one, just to make her stronger as a person. Alright, this army is crushed. They should just stay close to each other at this point. Maybe a little bit behind. Let them heal up for a bit. It should be pretty quick. Yeah, two turns. We're at 50%. We're at max replenishment. 20 from the building, 16 from the faction, characters. Yeah, we're, we're totally at max replenishment. That's good. All right. We got to finish off Cao Cao here. Uh, it's probably not going to be that simple here either. We could send in some help. Or we can just fight them. Oh, actually, he's so his officer's not on the field. So this is a delegate. Yeah, we're not going to actually fight because they're not there. Like, there's no one to fight. We might capture Xia Houdun. I really hope we do. Nope. Nope. They're back to court. We reclaimed our uh, temple. 
We got another character. Physician. Okay, starts out with recovery. Got an item from her. That's nice. Alright, so we did it. We repelled Cao Cao's first offense. He's gonna come again for sure. Uh, we have our army out here. We can decide what to do with these guys. They might attack us, but they're not really a threat. Uh, we should probably turn our focus back to Cao Cao. Um, we'll see what we do with this army. We might come back and we might double team, take out Peng Cheng, and start attacking Cao Cao after that. Um, over here, we're holding them back um, pretty well, I would say. It requires two teams to do it, uh, but that's the cost. We're going to use the money we got from the battles to upgrade our commandery so we have a better economy. Uh, that way we can improve our army army composition because right now it's not very strong. Um, we need more, you know, more elite units basically. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. We're cruising along. Um, I think the number of army doesn't really matter. Uh, it's the quality that counts going forward. So we might even disband some of the armies here because I don't think we need to continue down south anymore. Um, we need to take out Cao Cao first before we can worry about that. So that's our episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Come back next time. Bye!